Hey friends, uh, today I will be uh, talking about work done on multi-stage compressor with perfect and imperfect intercooling. Uh, I have taken the case of a two-stage uh, compressor here. If we look at, the, I have talked about, uh, uh, I have given an introduction to multi-stage compression in my last video. And now here we are with at the PV and the TS diagram. First I will talk about imperfect intercooling. What happens in imperfect intercooling is that uh, the temperature uh, T2 that comes out of the low pressure cylinder or after the first stage of compression and passes through the intercooler will not get cooled to the initial temperature T1. So if we look at this uh, TS, if so if we look at this TS graph here, we can see that after uh, in the low pressure compression, this is the first cylinder here. When the compression takes place, the temperature rises from 1 to 2 dash and then it passes through the intercooling phase. So this here, this line here is the intercooler where the temperature reduces. But the reduction in temperature, it does not reduce to T1. So T2 is not equal to T1. This type of cooling is called as imperfect intercooling. And then it gets again compressed in the high pressure cylinder and its temperature rises to T3. So, yes friends, this is a uh, imperfect intercooling. Even if we look at the schematic diagram here, it comes out of the low pressure cylinder with the uh, pressure of P2 and T2 dash and it will pass through the intercooler and then when it comes out of the intercooler, it will have a temperature of P2 T2 which will be equal, which is uh, not equal to the initial temperature. This is called, initial temperature is P1 T1 it will not be equal to T1. So that is called as imperfect interval. Coming back to the expression for work done, it is a very very simple uh, equation. Uh, what you need to do here is that and one more thing to remember is that if it is imperfect intercooling, this is the isothermal line. This is the isothermal line which is a kind of an ideal line. It cannot be achieved and uh, this is the polytropic line these two lines are polytropic line which follow the law pv to the power n is equal to constant uh, and one more thing to remember here is that in imperfect intercooling this uh, this is the intercooling stage here this point 2 will not intersect with the isothermal line in imperfect intercooling because the point 2 is not equal to the initial temperature t1 that you should remember so while writing the diagram keep that in mind and then uh, just divide the diagram into two single stage compressors. So you have one single stage compressor and another single stage compressor. And just add those two equations for, uh, for the work done. If you have seen my previous video, I have already derived the uh, expression for work done on a single stage compressor. So just uh, taking those, I will just take those directly. Uh, total work done is given by this is the low pressure compression and this is the high pressure compression. So total work done is given by work done at low pressure cylinder that is uh, 1256 that is 1, 2 dash and 5 and 6. So this is the work done in low pressure cylinder plus work done in the high pressure cylinder. This is the high pressure cylinder. Work done in the high pressure cylinder that is given by 5, 2, 3, 4. So what is the expression for work done? Work done in a single stage compressor is given by N for a polytropic process that is N by N minus 1 into P1 V1 to the power into P1 V1 that is the initial pressure here P1 V1 into P2 by P1 that is the intermediate pressure P2 here P2 by P1 to the power of N minus 1 by N minus 1. This is the expression for work done in the low pressure cylinder plus the work done for uh, work done on high pressure cylinder that is n by n minus 1 into now the initial condition the becomes this intermediate pressure that becomes the inter, uh, initial condition so that becomes uh, p2 v2 into the delivery pressure that is p3 by p2 to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 so this is the expression for work done on a multi-stage compressor with imperfect intercooling 
here the expression becomes a bit long because we don't have the similar in initial conditions because the temperatures are different now coming to uh, work done on a uh, multi-stage compressor with uh, perfect intercooling what happens is that after uh, the cylinder after the air passes through the low pressure cylinder uh, it gets compressed uh, to a pressure P2 and it'll have a temperature of T2 dash but when it passes through the intercooler the temperature gets reduced back to the initial temperature T1 so the temperature gets reduced back to the initial temperature T1 and then it then goes to the high pressure cylinder and gets uh, uh, compressed uh, back to the required delivery pressure P3 and its temperature rises back to T3 so in this ES diagram the temperature 2 comes till here and 3 will go here so you can see that the rise in temperature also gets reduced at T3, T3 comes here and T2 will be equal to T1 this is this is perfect intercooling so if you look at the graph here first uh, this is the initial condition so it goes through the low pressure cylinder it gets compressed and its temperature rises to 2 dash from 2 dash it go, passes through the intercooler and its temperature gets reduced back to the initial temperature T1 and then again it uh, passes to the high pressure cylinder where its temperature rises to T3 so in this we can see that the intercooling temperature reduces and uh, the point 0.2 this is 0.2 second it will intersect with the isothermal line T1 in the PV diagram so this 0.2 will come here 0.2 and this will here this is the isothermal line yeah, so you can see that 0.2 will intersect with the isothermal line because T2 is equal to T1 so this will intersect here so this curve now becomes the isothermal curve right so now we know that for an isothermal process if we take as a P1 V1 by T1 is equal to P2 V2 by T2 this is the gas equation T1 is equal to T2 so P1 V1 will be equal to P2 V2 right so if we take the expression for imperfect intercooling and just replace p2 v2 by p1 v1 what do we get here this uh, method remains same this is uh, 5 2 3 4 this method this these expressions remain same what happens is n by n minus 1 into what is this p1 v1 initial condition to p2 by p1 that is the intermediate pressure by the initial pressure the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 now coming to this high pressure we know that it is n by n minus 1 into p2 v2 that is this condition right p2 v2 p2 v2 that is the intermediate pressure becomes the initial condition but because it's an isothermal process we know that p2 v2 is nothing but p1 v1 so we substitute that p2 V2 becomes P1 V1 sorry becomes P1 V1 and here it becomes P3 by P2 into uh, P3 by P2 to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 now we have a common factor here that is this becomes the common factor that is n by n minus 1 into P1 V1 becomes a common factor so this is the initial condition and where n is the polytropic index whole multiplied by P2 by P1 to the power of n minus 1 by n plus this one P3 by P2 uh, this mi minus 1 no you can add that later plus P3 by P2 to the power of n minus 1 by n plus a minus minus of 1 plus 1 that is 2 since it is a 
two stage multi uh, stage compressor that I have taken here this becomes two if it is three stage it becomes one plus one plus one that is three and here it becomes p plus p4 by p3 to the power n minus one by n only if it is a three stage compressor then like that only you can keep on adding the number of cylinders so it becomes minus three minus four minus five etc so friends this is the expression for work done on a multi-stage compressor with uh, uh, perfect intercooling with imperfect intercooling this is remains as p2 v2 only so you cannot remove the common factor here that is the only difference here and it provides for efficient uh, in, in imperfect cooling it efficient cooling of the air occurs so the amount of work done is also less in uh, perfect intercooling on the compressor that's it thank you